Holtz. I've been uh, a founding member of Jetscape and uh, participating in most of these Zoom sessions. They've uh, just been amazing. So without any further uh, ado, I'm just going to say, uh, so today's topic, we're, we're in sort of the last couple of days. Uh, and so we're now covering the uh, Bayesian statistics for jet energy loss measurements. And our speaker today is, is Yi Chen. And uh, you, you should have, I guess, already, uh, there, there's, there's two, let's, one more thing. So there's two sessions. There's a lecture that will last a, a, about an hour and then a short session or a longer session for hands-on, uh, which involves Docker and Jupyter Notebook. So uh, you should already be somewhat familiar with those instructions. La last question, I think everyone may know this by now, or last point is that, uh, if you have questions, please direct them to the Slack channel uh, called Bayesian Chen, and uh, I and others will be monitoring that channel, and, and that's the most efficient way for us to get your questions uh, to Yi so he can answer them, she can answer them. Okay, thanks. Go ahead, Yi. Okay, so hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the last session of the Bayesian analysis. So uh, let's start with the lecture part. Okay, so so first of all, as a reminder, as Luke Rong has uh, said, uh, the main Slack channel will be this. It's also shown on the screen below me. And the best place to ask questions is there because even if Zoom has ended, we can still see the, see the questions being posted there and answered. And if you see a problem that you are also having uh, that's posted by other people, please press the thumbs up on that question so that we know that a lot of people have the same problem and we can address it uh, first. Okay, so here is the outline of what I'm going to talk about today. So first, uh, what is the problem we want to solve? And then uh, I'll cover what are the likelihood function and the posterior probability function in Bayesian formalism. And then what once we have the function, what can we do with it? And then uh, how can we obtain the function in the first place? And that will be the lecture part for today. And then there will be a hands-on session to go through all of these. And because there, are, there were already two days of patient analysis uh, before me, a lot of these topics are covered uh, in different amounts of detail. So my first goal today will be to give uh, the big picture with the statistics or analysis, right? kind of like uh, stringing everything together. And then we will practice using the Jetscape statistical analysis package afterwards. Okay, let's start with the goal very broadly. So suppose we have some model uh, with some set of parameters that's shown on the box on the left. Uh, once we have these, then we can make predictions for new experimental data. And this essentially is um, what is the, covered by the first half of the school. For example, how to run Jetscape, how to make observables out of it, and so on and so forth. However, if uh, you just made a new model yourself and there are a few free parameters that's not clear what to set to, then this prediction part won't work out of the box in the beginning. Then we need the, the other half of the picture, which is to use the existing experimental data and trying to learn what parameters are the best uh, to use for any given model. Okay, so basically the, this is what we're trying to cover and it, it's the second part here. Okay, 